This is A Life More Light. We are here today to give you a walkthrough of our Alto R1713 from Safari Condo. We've been asked for this in the past. We thought this would be a great chance after we've used it for 300 days to show you all the ins and outs. Cool, let's do it. Okay, we are on the main entrance side. Uh, we have the Kita rail here for accessories like an awning, a door with a single step. There's an outdoor light and an outdoor outlet. And on the back, we have the backup cameras and LED lights. And you can also get a peek at the solar panels on top from here too. So we've got four stabilizers. There's two on the back and two on the front. Some smaller campers don't have stabilizers on the front, so that's nice. Uh, moving forward, this is the exhaust vent for the Truma. This is just your electrical connection here for 30 amp. We've got our outdoor shower. This is the towel mod. Suction cups are key in an Alto. Uh, hot and cold water here. Look at that. <laughs> it works well. This is the water inlet for city water. It's got both city water and just a fill for the tank. Obviously we're boondocking, so we just do the fill. Uh, this is the septic, so you've got black, gray, and if you watch our previous video, this is brand new. This is the garage, so it's just got uh, two little releases on it. Opens up, and inside of here, well, we've got a few things going on. This is a key for the movers. We'll get to that soon. Um, this is our uh, inverter. There's a power management system. This is not factory. This is something that I've put in. Moving to the front. I guess the most prominent thing is the bike rack. The bike rack holds two bikes. It's got a max capacity of 80 pounds on it. Uh, we've got a propane tank, just a single. And then we've got the uh, Group 31, which is just an AGM battery here. This is the brake controller. This is the wheels, which are necessary for the mover because the movers on the trailer push it forward, so you've got to have wheels on the tongue. And I think that's about it for the front. These movers are super handy. Whether I'm backing into a, a spot at a campground, I can turn the camper just right to get the best view. They are super handy for hooking up to the car as well because I don't need to back up. I can just back the car up close and just position the receiver right over the ball and lower it. It works beautifully. Not to mention at home in the garage. You can maneuver this thing any which way you want to get it into tight spaces in your garage. These movers are really sweet. can be retractable on the Alto R1713 is that the back bench actually folds down and allows the roof to come into that space. So the first thing you do when you open it is pull that back bench up. This is a king size bed, 72 by 76 inches. It has two corner bedside tables and a reading light above each side. And there are actually a few ways that you can configure the bed for your use, and I'll show you those now. This first configuration is the full king size bed where you could use it as one mattress. The second configuration would be two separate twin size beds on either side. 
the third configuration is the one that we actually prefer to use the most where you take one of the cushions and leave it in and one out and that just gives you a lot more space in the shoulders when you're turning around at night and also um, room to put things that you might have bedside as well. This configuration allows you to just put your feet down and get out of the bed really easily. I'm 5'8 and I am standing at the very back of the trailer and I'm still able to stand fully without bending down in any way. It actually at the center of the trailer gets to seven feet. There is no storage under that back bench because it's folding down when we're retracting, but there is storage on, underneath both sides of the bed. This first side. First side has the Truma, which is a water heating system and a room or alto heating system. And then we have some storage in this area right here. The majority of the storage is gonna be under this side for our trailer. And we do travel light. <laughs> Currently, we just have the awning in here. And I also like to use pantry bags. So I have one food pantry bag in there and that just keeps my food items handy. We've always had plenty of room for storage whenever we've traveled. Another thing for the storage access is you can either access it from the top or there are doors so that you can just pull in and out from here. This is probably the most used spot for us. When the roof retracts, this part actually folds down beside the bed. So there is a space here on this side and the other side. Our unit has the max air fan. It's covered and allows for us to use it in the rain. Comes with a remote control. Once it's open, it's very quiet, especially at the lowest setting. This is our kitchen space. We have a good amount of room for prep. The sink is right here. The stove is here. Two burner propane. We have the 4.3 cubic foot Novacool refrigerator. It runs on shore power and also on solar. Also tucked in here is the inverter controls. Above, is the microwave, which also runs off the inverter. And on the side here, we have two very useful power options between the 110 and the 12 volt outlets. Above the stove, we have what I've always thought of as, as a spice rack. And on the side of the spice rack is a dimmer switch. They do have a beautiful setup for lights in here. And they do lots of options for turning things on and off. The main kitchen storage, we use the top for plates, bowls, utensils. And then each of the shelves do pull out. We don't often pull them out, but you can. Plenty of room in the bottom. This is our garbage and other storage in there. Up front is the dinette. Fortunately, and one of the reasons why we picked this unit is because you can have the bed set up in the back and still maintain the dinette area. So someone wants to sleep in, they can do that while someone else is up front getting some breakfast or in my case going to work. Above the dinette we've got cabinets, overhead cabinets. Uh, the R1713 is available with a big front window but we opted to not go with the window and go with the cabinets and we use these as a dresser. Plenty of room up here in both sides. You can see I go for the packing cubes. Sherry does not. It's not our thing. The dinette table that comes with the Alto is mounted to the floor, so we opted to do a lagoon modification, and we'll show you a little more detail about the lagoon mount, but to see how it works first is pretty slick. So this side, to get into this seat, typically is a little bit difficult because it's confined with the, the counter here. But with the lagoon, just pull this out. You have plenty of room to walk in here, and then turn it around. Move it right up to you. And when you get out, make sure you watch your head. This is the CO2 and gas uh, detector. Here's the fuse box. We've got a 12 volt outlet, which we just have a plug in for USB. The 110 outlet, lagoon mount. 
There's some storage underneath here, which we keep our Wii Boost and our owner's manuals in. Underneath here is just the garage, so the inverter is in there and the, uh, the other garage items. And then under, underneath this seat is the air conditioner. Now let's show you how to convert it to a bed. And this is a pretty big single bed actually. 36 by 81, I believe. It's a lot of, a lot of relaxing. What we could do, we have a lagoon mount in the back. Again, not standard features, but we can show you what it looks like when you set up the dinette in the back. Sometime in the future, we might do a video about the lagoon mounts and the mods. Today's not that video, but just take, this is the existing table, the table that comes with the Alto, and pop it in the hole. So from the factory, you can use the standard table mount, and it just removes from the floor mount and the front dinette, and that can move to the back. We wanted to maintain having the ability with the lagoon mount to have the table in the back too, so we put the other mount here, and now we have seating comfortably for five, I'd say. And now onto the bathroom. There's usually questions about the bathroom. People want to know about the bathroom. There's a surprising amount of privacy for a camper that's filled with windows. So this opens up, so that provides you privacy from the door. And then, what? Privacy curtains. So now you've got privacy from the other windows as well as if there's someone in the back. There's a good amount of room in here. I'm 5'10", and my shoulders are pretty broad, and my elbows do hit in here, but normally there's plenty of room in here. It, it works really well. This will be the first time that I've been, been filmed sitting on a toilet. Wow. All of the curtains are made out of the same material. They are extremely lightweight. They have almost a satin finish to them, but they're it's definitely not satin. Um, and they're extremely functional at blocking out all the light. They're also cut perfectly to the lines of all of the windows in the Alto. About everything with our camper. I love our little Alto. I do too. They say it's teardrop shaped, and I'd say it stops at the shape. <laughs> when you're going down the road or you want to put it in a garage, it works really well. Mm. But most of the time that we're in our camper, it's open. And so we live in the windows, and that's pretty cool. It's extremely spacious and, and an easy trailer to live in. Mm -hmm. We bought our Alto without having seen one in person. Mm -hmm. The first Alto we saw was when we went to pick up ours. And uh, there's a we would just want to make sure in putting this video out that you have more information about this product that you can see how it works and if it helps you in your decision. Mm -hmm. Being a small lightweight camper is awesome and it works well to get it into the garage. It works well for towing because it only weighs 1,850 pounds when it's dry. It and tows a gas like a station. Dream. You can pull into any gas station. Yeah. Maneuverability, it's only 17 feet long. It's seven feet wide. So U-turns are actually possible. Yeah, it's really super maneuverable. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching our tour of our Alto R1713. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks.